How, how would you describe just, just how you play today? I mean, you have two touchdowns and also the, the two interceptions. Um, I mean, any game that's not a win is not a, you know, I'm not happy with, obviously. I wanted to go out on a limb for these seniors, and um, I thought we fought hard, but, you know, some little things came, you know, kind of bite, bit us. Um, you know, first off, I got to say no excuses. I got to take care of the ball better. I mean, there's no no excuses for that. I I need to take care of the ball better. That's been a problem that I've dealt with this year. And, um, you know, that's something that, you know, our team has struggled with and I need to take care of the ball better. And um, that, that definitely hurt us. And, you know, we, we had our offense rolling at times, but, you know, there was just some little things that like, like turnovers and, you know, just some little missed assignments, missed reads by me, miss, you know, any, anything. Um, so yeah, we, we all take responsibility for it. And, um, you know, we need, to, we know what we need to do to, to be better. I mean, I know you've seen him a lot by now, but is there anything uh, that Deuce does anymore that surprises you? Um, I mean, I, I know how special he is. And I mean, I feel like at this point, nothing he does surprises me. I'm sure it surprises a lot of other people, but I'm not surprised that he's doing what he's doing. He's incredibly mature kid and, and an awesome teammate to be with and a heck of a football player. And he's proved that. And he made some really, really good plays today. And, you know, just keep trying to get him the ball more and, um, you know, let him do what he does. Do you think uh, with these last two games, you're really starting to develop uh, chemistry in the passing game with Malik? Yeah, I mean, having him out for a couple games wasn't wasn't ideal, but I feel, you know, he's a heck of a receiver and a, and a really, really good football player for us. So I continue to continuing to work with him and, and all the receivers that we have will be really important um, for me and for, for all of our, for our whole offense. And he played a, a great game today and, and made some really good plays. And, um, I salute him for that. And then my last thing, Will, with him, you know, Coach Kleiman mentioned that Malik's battled some injuries, obviously. Is that is that really kind of what maybe has held him back just a little bit this year? Because, I mean, I think today is kind of the kind of game that a lot of people expected from him all season. Yeah, I mean, he, like I said, he is a heck of a football player. And when we get him the ball, he he's going to do the things that he does. And we saw that today. And I know some injuries and some other things have held him out this this season, but having him in there today and having the impact that he made uh, really shows what what he can do. And I I knew that he would, you know, he he was due. So um, having having a weapon like him and you know all the weapons we have is is really nice. Tell us. Yeah, well, how much would you say you've changed as a quarterback since you uh, made your first start earlier this season? Uh, I'd say I definitely have grown and, and I feel more comfortable. I feel like I'm seeing the field better. Um, obviously, I'm still not anywhere close to where I need to be as personally as a quarterback. And I feel like, you know, we, we developed some chemistry in terms of the offense. And um, like I said, there's a ton more to work on. And I know that, you know, Coach Klein and, and all the coaches have been talking to me and, you know, just trying to see in front of throws better and, and you know, just throw the ball, you know, with conviction every single time and, and not, you know, hold anything back and, and just just ripping it and um, having fun with it. And I feel like as the season went on, I got more comfortable. But like I said, still a ton more to, to work on. And uh, if you could maybe just put it into words for me, how, how demoralizing has it been for the guys to, to end the year on a losing streak like this? I mean, yeah, it's been rough. I mean, nobody wants to end the year like this. Um, but I feel like the guys have, we, we kept fighting. And that's that, that says a lot about this team, about these seniors, about these guys that, that I'm in the locker room with. And, you know, they welcome me in with open arms. And, you know, the things that happened this year were, you know, not even close to ideal. And um, I think, you know, we, we, we never stopped fighting. And I'll say that. And we, we this team never stopped fighting. And I'm really proud of how we fought. I mean, there's a lot of little things that we need to clean up on and discipline things that we need to get better at. But overall, we fought, and I'm proud of that. All right, thanks, Will. Appreciate it. Thank you. We've got three hands raised. We'll go through those three here, starting with Jackson. Hey, hey Will. Uh, I just wanted your thoughts on, you know, how you guys kind of fell behind pretty quick early, but you guys started to get things rolling towards the end of the first quarter. And throughout a lot of the, the second quarter offensively. Just your thoughts on, on what changed and what started working. Uh, I mean, I think 
we we knew what they were doing. They didn't really do anything that we didn't expect, and we had a good game plan for it. And once we kind of got into our groove and started executing it in that, you know, second quarter or whenever, you know, we started kicking it into gear, I feel like that, you know, helped us a bunch. And, um, you know, they were kind of rolling early. They made a couple plays on, you know, on defense and on offense. But once we kind of got into gear, we, you know, we felt we felt good about ourselves and, you know, a couple of little things here and there. We kind of I wouldn't say they beat us. I'd say we more beat ourselves. I mean, they, they definitely made some plays and they, you know, they beat us. But um, we beat ourselves a lot and, and made some you know little mistakes that led to, you know, things not working out how we wanted. And then you became the record holder now for touchdown passes as a freshman at K-State. And I just wanted your thoughts on what it means to accomplish something like that so early in, in your career and, and to pass a guy like Josh Freeman, have your name on in the record books. To be honest, I didn't even know that until you just said that. So, I mean, it's an honor. Um, it's definitely an honor. Uh, you know, this is a, a storied program. And, um, you know, it's an honor to be here and an honor to be in the position that I am. And, you know, I'm proud of prou proud to be in this position. But um, like I said, I mean, I'm not satisfied with where I am. I wouldn't say I'm happy after this game at all. Um, I mean, there's still a ton more to work on. And, and uh, you know, things have gotten better as the season went on, I feel like. But there's still so much to learn from and, and grow from. Thanks, Will. Appreciate it. John? Yeah, Will, you'll hear quarterbacks or players talk about the game slowing down for them, more reps that you get. How much has the game slowed down for you since game one and start one to where you're at right now? It's slowed down a ton. I mean, we've we've faced some really good defenses. And, um, you know, from game to game, I feel like I've seen things a lot better. I'm seeing things a lot better than I, than I was at the beginning of this. And, I mean, I hadn't even played a college football game before this season, so I didn't know what defenses looked like and how – things really went and you know just kind of getting accustomed to this to the style of the game and you know the the different play clock and the different you know every, everything you know as the season went on I kind of got more comfortable with and I can't say enough about how how the coaches and how the players rallied around me and, and helped me to do that and I mean just nothing but support and nothing but you know telling me they had confidence in me and you know when you when you hear that message from from your guys it's 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 awesome, you know, and, and builds a lot of confidence for, for a guy like me. Not knowing right now what Skyler's decision may be, how, how do you approach the offseason and, and how you're going to handle that, not knowing if you are the starting quarterback next year, just what are your priorities going to be? I'm not worried about that at all. I mean, I, you know, whatever Skyler decides to do is, is this decision for him, and I just know that I, I know what I need to work on, and, and whatever whatever happens, happens. And, um there's a lot of things that we need to work on as a team and I need to work on as an individual and we're going to attack this offseason. This offseason is going to be big. I mean, I haven't really had a true offseason. A lot of these freshmen and, and new guys haven't had a true offseason here yet. So um, being able to attack this offseason and, and get a lot out of it will be really important for us. Appreciate it, Will. Thanks. Thank you. Last one here, Michael. Yeah, Will, how critical are you of your own play? Uh, I'd say I'm very critical of my own play. I'm probably my own biggest critic. I, you know, I, I whether it's good or bad, I put a lot of pressure on myself to be, to be good and, and to be great. And, um, you know, it's helped me a lot in my life, you know, and I feel like continuing to just kind of block out the noise and try and, you know, listen to myself and listen to the, you know, to my coaches and, and hear what they're saying. Um, I, I I know that I need to be better, and, and that's the bottom line. I mean, I haven't played nearly to my potential this year, and I feel like, you know, there's a lot to grow from, a lot to learn from, and this year will be a, a huge learning experience for me, and um, we'll be able to grow a lot from this and, and take the lessons that we learned and that I learned and apply them in this off season and um, going into next year. Did you kind of lock in on Sebastian Taylor on your first interception and not clear the free safety? Yeah, I mean, I just, I just need to see in front of the throw better. I mean, no excuse for that. I can't, I can't uh, make a throw like that.